Hey everybody, this is Daniel and Abinov again. We're gonna uh, cover part two of our edge cluster configuration inside of VCD 9.7. So uh, again, what we're gonna do here is we're going to reconfigure our tenant two organization to consume edge cluster services in these distinct edge clusters. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna um, bring open Postman and Abinov and I are gonna walk through how do we uh, configure edge clusters, what do we see, and how is this configured on a per organization virtual data center uh, pers perspective. So first things first, uh, looking at the cloud API, the edge clusters. So Abinov has a screen open here. We already have our edge clusters already configured uh, for tenant one. Um, we had to establish this. So Abinov, why don't you uh, tell the viewers what we see here in the screen? Sure, so a given edge cluster is defined by um, a name, a description, which is optional. The resource pool, which we had talked about, the basically where the, the edge VMs are gonna get deployed and a given storage profile name. And so this is a typical JSON body for a given edge cluster. Um, so if I do a get on the edge clusters API, I will get all my edge clusters and I can obviously you know, get a single one, um, edit the name, um, et cetera. And again, this isn't limited to just two. We could have dozens. I think what we've tested or kind of our guidelines is 100. Is that correct, Abinov? Yep, exactly. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, let's walk through how we configure tenant two to consume uh, edge clusters in its respective org VDC. Perfect. So yeah, we've created the edge cluster. So the next part is to get the org VDC ID. And you can um, get this via the org API and navigate down the links, or you could use a query API. And so as a system admin, I'm going to use the admin org VDC query API. And notice here, I get two org VDC records. And since I want to assign to tenant two, I'm just going to look for the tenant two org VDC and get the href for that org VDC. So Great. next, uh, next I'm going to get the uh, org VDC. So if I do a get on the org VDC, and obviously there's a bunch of links, I'm going to search here for network profile. And the network profile is a new construct. The VDC network profile is a new construct we introduced in 9.7. And it's basically to encapsulate the networking resources or properties of a given uh, org VDC. In today's world, it's only um, edge cluster definition, but we'll see potentially later things down the road. So, and keep in mind that you have to use API version 32, um, which is the 9.5 API version to get this link or otherwise you won't see it. That's right, okay. So now I do a get on this um, API and This is the response body I get back. Right now, I don't have any edge clusters assigned. So what's a primary edge cluster and secondary edge cluster? A primary edge cluster is where, when you deploy an edge gateway normally or an HA, the, the active appliance, the main appliance, that's, where, that's the edge cluster where the active appliance will get deployed. Secondary edge cluster applies to high availability, and that's where the standby appliance gets deployed. And now uh, you have a new cross cluster HA, which wasn't supported before in VCD. Before in VCD, when you had HA, it would still deploy both VMs to different hosts, uh, but the same cluster. Now you have cross cluster HA, where one, one appliance is in one cluster and another appliance is in the other cluster. And what's also very interesting with this is I don't have to necessarily explicitly configure my primary edge cluster as edge cluster one, right? We can actually discreetly control where we deploy our primary instance on a per org VDC basis. Exactly. And so then that allows for balancing situations for, you know, for any given number of org VDCs, you can use edge cluster one as a primary. And then for all your other org VDCs, use um, edge cluster one as a secondary. And so you can see how you can balance your workloads across the two clusters. Great, excellent. All right, let's uh, configure 10 and two to use um, our primary and secondary edge cluster. So what do we Perfect. do here? So, so you would do a put 
Um, so this API call is a put where you specify the primary edge cluster. You don't need the name, but we're showing it in this example. You mainly need the ID. Um, and the secondary edge cluster is optional. So for a given org VDC, if you don't care about HA or um, you just want HA to be the same as before, you, can, um, you only need a primary edge cluster. But if you want HA across clusters, then you can specify secondary. And if you want to reset these, then you just pass in this payload where you set these to null. Okay. Um, in this case, we're going to set uh, this primary edge cluster to edge cluster one and the secondary to edge cluster two. So I'll do the put. You get a task back and you can do a get on that task. For the purposes of the demo, I'm just going to do a get. And we can see now that the OVDC has these um, edge clusters assigned to it. Great, excellent. All right, so we're ready now to deploy a net new edge for 10 and 2. And let's see, let's take a look at what happens. Perfect. So let's go through the edge gateway wizard. So for edge cluster, um, please keep in mind that you need to use the H5 UI to deploy the edge gateways. So we're going to use 10 and 2 OVDC. We'll call it uh, new edge 10 and 2. In this case, now we show the external networks that are accessible to the edge cluster because we're using an edge cluster on this OVDC. If you weren't using an edge cluster, then we would get the external networks accessible to just your normal standard PVDC. Yep. Okay. Configure default gateway. I'm not going to sub allocate or I'll use auto IPs. And when I finish, you'll notice that the um, edge VM is getting deployed into this edge cluster one RP resource pool. Great, excellent. Again, I think the cool thing about the solution is now you don't have to use a storage policy of the org VDC. We can use a custom storage policy in this case, so much more flexibility than before. Yeah, and definitely more discrete control over, you know, providing a higher level of availability, a lot of the functionality built into this resiliency, and also the network optimization. I think that that's one of the really exciting functions of this. So yep. let's, while this is deploying and configuring, why don't we talk about what do we do for an existing environment at a high level and what we're going to do next, which is redeploy 10 and 2's existing um, edge. Sure. So... Now let's say you had an edge gateway that you deployed before and it was connected to the external network, the, um, the proper external networks, but it was in lying in the system VDC, um, the, the general PVDC um, resource pool. And you wanna migrate it to the edge cluster resource pool. All you need to do in VCD is assign the edge clusters to the org VDC and then redeploy the edge gateway. And you're all set. And, and the edge gateways that are normally there will still operate, but if you, this is for mainly migrating that edge gateway to the edge cluster resource pool. Yeah, I think the caveats there, right, are, you know, a redeploy is a disruptive option, right, since it brings down the edge. So edge services will be temporary unavailable for that period of time at redeployment. And then ensuring that the transport zone does span from your existing resource or payload cluster to the new edge clusters. Exactly. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, and then the other thing too uh, we should talk about is the ability to uh, that edge cluster configuration or the network profile takes precedence over the MoRef uh, metadata object in the PVDC. So if you were using the previous version of, of uh, explicitly controlling edge cluster functionality, mm -hmm. uh, this takes precedence over that metadata construct. Exactly. So the ordering is number one priority is this new edge cluster solution. Second priority is the metadata. And the third is just standard. And once you've assigned an edge cluster to a given OVDC, a new edge gateway deployment will go through the edge cluster. Great. It's Excellent. like network pools, basically. So let's expand resource cluster one. And the next thing what we're going to do is uh, redeploy out uh, the previous tenant two's uh, ESG here. So uh, we have it deployed currently to um, 
tenant two, uh, PVDC, which is the system VDC pool. And this was pre edge cluster configuration. So Abinov, why don't you go ahead and re do a redeploy on that? see what's happening here. So initially in NSX, the redeploy, um, it does a li some operations in terms of finding out where to deploy it. Eventually what will happen is you will see it get deployed in the edge cluster resource pool. So this will take a little bit of time. And in the meanwhile, do we want to talk a little bit about um, the metadata based solution. So that was an old sure. solution that, that um, required the use for affinity rules um, that was internally done by VCD, but um, it still had that requirements and um, you didn't obviously have the ability to specify, you know, clusters for high availability. Um, or custom storage policies. So although you can, the, the metadata based solution will still work per se, it is highly recommended that you switch to the um, new edge cluster solution. So great, now we can see here, now the this edge, it's edge, NSX is just doing its thing, but you can see it's getting deployed to the edge cluster RP. Yeah, and to go back to the previous metadata configuration, a lot of our providers use that, but what this provides is again, uh, higher uh, resiliency and HA capabilities, and then also discreetly controlling that L2 domain span. I think that's the other biggest thing is when we talk about any type of broadcast traffic, right? We can discreetly control who gets access uh, going forward to your external networks or the VLAN um, networks for controlling north-south traffic. Yep. Okay. So it looks like uh, VCD and NSX are they're shutting down the previous ESG and we should see the delete operation here shortly and then also the rename on the net new edge. And there we go. Excellent. Okay. So within, and when did we start that task? About, if you scroll down, it was about three or four minutes, it looks like, I wanna say, it took mm -hmm. from, from start to finish. So again, uh, it, you, you will need a maintenance window for any type of production state edge migration. However, um, it's gonna be uh, fairly quick. We're talking about in the minutes on that, so. Okay, uh, so that wraps up our video on Edge Cluster. Um, closing thoughts, Abadoff? Uh, nope. Excellent, all right. Well, thanks everybody for uh, watching our videos on Edge Cluster capability in VCD 9.7. Uh, we also have some guides on our blog site. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment on those. Thanks, have a great day. Thanks everyone.